he knows what he's doing. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, wherever here. I hope that you are all doing well. You said you wanted to watch this with me, so let's do it. If you were to have a look at the description below, you will see a link to the original upload. I'm not going to watch this all the way through, I'm just going to watch the performances. If I'm really honest with you, this morning I thought, today I'm going to watch just Liam and just Marpa from this performance. But then I remembered that in Crimson, Stell takes off the blazer and this is a front view and I need that view in my life. So I'm going to watch all the performances and I'm really looking forward to it. So we're back in Korea with SB19 and we are going to watch through fan cam, then performing Gento, Liam, Marpa and Crimson. I'm really excited about this. Let's go. And we know a fan cam is better. I see Josh. Oh wait, this is a great view to see the passerbys. I love that Pau wears trousers that even look like skirts. It's just his style. I just want to say that every single person that for the first time they look at Stel, I bet you, I bet you good money that everyone says that he looks like Superman. I bet you. <laughs> how? Look at how in sync they are. <laughs> that was a double push. So smooth. I honestly don't know who to look at. This is crazy. They're all attacking me. Yeah. Like a machine gun. I love Pal's boots. Pablo looks unreal. Yes, this is what I didn't get to see. Stel Vesta, what are you playing as? This is what I didn't get to see from the live stream. Fluid when he needs to be fluid, sharp when he needs to be sharp, strong when he needs to be strong, delicious when he needs to be delicious. Pablo's facial expressions, so fun. Let's go, Ken. <laughs> Who said, oh my god? Because I agree. I love that we get to see Ken's body a little bit more. I'm not trying to make everything about sex, but it's just, you get to see the silhouette and you get to see him move and I like it. Yes, Ken. For some reason, I thought they were going to come out with that dance break from 
the fan mate. this range for Pablo's voice. Here comes my trigger. Oh. Oh. What a voice. This is a crisp. Do you see how Stel's voice just wants to fly? The equipment is great. Style. He's gonna soar. Wow.
is such a perfect song. Oh my god, I agree. I couldn't agree more. And yeah, it's crazy. I think that through fan cams, you get all of their textures a lot more. And I think I found something that I don't like about SB19. And it's when you listen to an SB19 song, you don't get enough of each member. That's like their shortfall. Because every single time a member is singing, and I'm like, oh, I wish we could have heard that texture a little bit longer. But it's just not possible. Otherwise, the song would be like 50 minutes long, which is not a bad thing. Um, but truly, it's so great. And Stell, and that note at the end, the way that Stell's voice is just carried wherever. I used to think in the early days of getting to know SB19 that Stell's voice really suited like those indoor arenas, big massive arenas, because it's rounded. And so the, vo the way the voice travels in a space like that, and it hits the roof and you get a little hint of sharpness, but it's so soothing. But he's just gone and proven me completely wrong because this is an outdoor environment and yet that voice is hitting the sky. Like his voice is unreal and yet yeah, it's traffic stopping. If you were wandering by in the back, you would have to stop and turn around and have a look at who the freaking hell that was because his voice is so crazy. And Ken will always be my trigger in a sentimental SB19 song because the, the depth that he brings is really crazy to think that these five came together somewhat organically because I think people go out there to scout a group like that and you never get somebody that is so perfect in their area and then also sound so great together. We're just so incredibly lucky that this happened and that this happened because this is a, like a once in a lifetime sort of a thing. Oh my god! <laughs> But even two days, he's going to have released his solo.
as much as I want them all to prioritize their health, I'm really glad that Ken got to have this whole opportunity and that he didn't have to back out from this. Um, because I, I can't imagine like any one of them missing any of their performances and then having to rework it. The, the flavor and the whole essence of their songs can only be sung by the five of them. love the power of uh, Pablo and Stel singing together. Slightly different notes, but together on a sustained note. Here he goes. was released they were they i think they had just found their sound and they were still like polishing it but that's not to say that this was an absolute gold and uh you know in the years to come it's going to continue to develop and even today like hearing it in their current voices i mean it takes on so much more meaning and the thing is that mapa is a an incredibly special song not just because of the meaning but actually because of the voices that sung it and we mustn't ever forget i'm sure that a lot more people are aware of the song and didn't know that it belonged to sb19 and i just think it's it's going to be their legacy isn't it songs like mapa songs like what that is what sb19's legacy is going to be <laughs> Can I tell you, obviously, this particular event, I think, it would definitely attract uh, adults, <laughs> if I can say that in the best way. But I would say that what's really, really refreshing about SB19 is the kind of crowds that they pull. I would say for the songs that they release especially the trendy sounding songs you would expect for there to be like a blanket of teens or like young adults but actually what i find in sb19 is you always get families you get everybody all the way from like baby 18 to like grandparent 18 um it's just the most wonderful thing it's like a family experience and i i love that i hope that never changes you know Look at Justin.
seriously, Justin is the center, is so good. Pablo throwing that mic around again. Oof. The flow. <laughs> Oof. Poor Ken. way not still doing this whilst looking at 100% daddy I mean with the ring as well he looks like he's just come from the office with the glasses and just no 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 just it's just so hard He knows what he's doing. Jeez. It's really hard for me. Oh wow. Look at Stell where I've paused it. It's really hard for me to pinpoint specific moments in SB19's lives where Stell has been outrageously handsome because I feel like every single moment for me he's just been the man, okay? But this has kind of put a little pin on the map. The way that he's dressed, the attitude, he's feeling himself and the solo is about to drop and he's been promoting it and feeling really good about himself, which is what I want. And the confidence and everything that's oozing out of every pore of his being is so attractive. I cannot get enough. Like, I want to bite him because he's annoying me. You know, like how siblings, although I don't mean it in a sibling way, but you know how siblings, when you're little and they really get on your nerves and you just want to bite them. Now you know what I used to do. <laughs> no, I, I actually was a really nice sibling. My brother was horrible to me. Um, but yeah, that's, I just, yeah, go away still. That's what I want to say. The interesting thing about SB19 is because they started from the bottom and they didn't suddenly hit that viral status, they've worked through every sort of stage. So then if on a day they have to work all the way back to a small stage like this, it doesn't really matter because they know how to work the crowd. They know how to adapt their performances to suit that particular venue, that crowd, the event. And we've seen them do it time and time again, depending on where they travel, they change the choreography, they change their form of attack. And um, it's just something really interesting to note because I have seen big, massive groups, groups that have gone from nothing to them being incredibly famous and massive. And I guarantee you, if you put them on a small stage like this, they wouldn't know how to work it. And I'll give you an example. The other day I was watching a performance of Beyonce, and this is Beyonce in her absolute peak. And there was no one that was even close to her at that period. And she performed on like an afternoon television show, and they were they had a live audience outside, and she was performing there. And it looked, she was amazing. The performance was amazing, but she looked so incredibly awkward and it just didn't work because she had created that, her and her team had created that performance for like a concert. And absolutely, they were promoting the concert, which is why she was doing that. But there was a detachment between her and the crowd that was there because all of a sudden she was in an open air sort of situation like this, very minimal uh, fans right there. And it just, 
it just didn't hit the spot like it usually would with Beyonce. And I was like, what is going on? And it just really made me think about maybe place what SB19 have done and how different it is. And we know that obviously SB19 have hit it big in the Philippines, but across other places, we've seen them travel out to America and to Canada. And as much as it irks us that they're small, performing on smaller stages, they're still able to keep like tabs on that sort of an audience. And so when they go out and they perform like this, it's not ideal because it's quite small for where I place SB19 in their careers, but they make it work. They work the crowd. They know what to say, what to do, how sexy to make it, how energetic to make it. This is daytime. Okay. It doesn't need to be any more than what it was. It was just absolutely perfect. And the truth is that when you're equipped with vocal skill in the way that SB19 are, it doesn't matter what stage you have because you can still deliver what was on the original EP in real life because that is who you are. They have just always stayed authentic to themselves and their sound, which is why whatever they perform, it translates so incredibly well. Thank you so much for attending my SB19 lecture today. <laughs> I can't wait to hear what you have to say about this and a fantastic fan cam. I can see why you wanted to watch this. And thank you so much for suggesting to watch it with me. I can't believe that people want to watch stuff with me. Like, are you crazy? Are you not sick of me yet? <laughs> but yeah, I can't wait to hear what you have to say. And I have to say that... I know Ken has the aura of this whole moodiness and uh, mystery, but when he's unwell, I really, really don't like it because I, I could see the eyes were facing down quite a bit and you just don't get that extra oomph from him. Like he was giving his all, no doubt, and he killed it and he sounded like an angel, but I miss him and I just want him to recover ASAP and get back to being his mysterious self. Thank you so much for watching this with me. I hope that you had fun. And until I see you next time, take care. Stay safe. Bye.